The SAH-41 Chicane is a ground attack helicopter with emphasis on stealth and low ground flight. Sporting a massive AGM-48 payload, the Chicane is able to saturate large areas of the battlefield with low yield ordnance sufficient to overwhelm air defenses and other lightly armored threats. With typical engagement range under 10 kilometers, the Chicane prefers localized attacks on targets within visual range though a few of its ordnance options offer greater range at the cost of payload capacity. The Chicane is equal parts brawler and archer, able to function effectively in close quarters and from short to medium range using its missiles. Terrain is your best friend when flying this particular machine, as it offers near limitless cover from ranged missile attack, especially against jets with more limited maneuvering options. Even at lower flying speeds, helicopter momentum and handling can brutally punish the inattentive. Take caution when turning, as helicopters are able to slide sideways while cornering, which can cause problems when maneuvering aggressively near the ground. The ability to hover does not mean that you can defy the laws of aerodynamics. The nose will want to drift in the direction of movement, even when sliding sideways. Be ready to compensate for this drift. Pairing good use of the terrain with the chicane's low IR signature forces attackers to close the distance in order to engage. Despite being relatively fragile, the chicane's defensive flares make it very difficult to kill with thermal tracking systems. Jets engaging at a distance can spend their entire missile payload and not secure a kill. The most effective way to counter the chicane is with guns or flak making it more vulnerable to ground-based ballistic weapons, but not outright defenseless against them. The Chicane sports a 30mm chin-mounted autocannon turret that fires explosive shells. This turret can engage targets off your line of flight, and is controlled by your co-pilot while other weapons are selected. This means that the turret can provide cover for the pilot, even while the pilot is attempting a missile lock. These explosive rounds are very effective against slower moving aircraft, and dangerous to any jet aircraft that gets beneath it. This turret offers no protection against threats from above the rotor line or from behind. The chicane is primarily designed for ground attack and offers limited air to air capability. It is very effective when deployed alongside ground forces that can provide air defense, which in turn enables the chicane to focus on destroying hostile ground forces. While the chicane is able to defend itself against one or two light hostile aircraft, it is quickly overwhelmed in multi-target or interceptor engagements. The chicane tops out in the low 300 km per hour range, making it one of the slowest aircraft in the game, so it takes longer to get into position and return to base afterward. This trade-off means that, like the Dark Reach, it takes time for the Chicane to reach and engage a target, though unlike the Dark Reach, the Chicane can be launched and recovered from almost any forward facility at lower cost and in greater numbers. Despite its stealth labeling, pilots should take care handling the Chicane around hostile radar, as it can still be easily detected in the open sky. As with the Cricket, the chicane requires deft handling off the deck, with the best stealth coming from terrain occlusion. The chicane is able to leverage much smaller geographic features, like hills, bluffs, and other obstacles, which are not possible for any fixed-wing vehicle to use. The chicane can function effectively in groups or as part of a mixed strike package, but is weaker when operating solo. Stealth and surprise are the best strategy when the chicane needs to operate behind enemy lines or near hostile anti-air. With an abundant AGM payload, the chicane can easily saturate air defenses if it can get close enough, though this can prove challenging against high-flying air patrols, especially when dealing with interceptors. Pilots should also note that the chicane flies slow enough to be targeted by AGMs. These optically guided missiles are immune to flares and radar jamming. AGMs are a one-hit kill, but can be evaded without the use of flares 
by flying parallel to the missile's trajectory and at high speed, or by diving behind an obstacle. Since the chicane has a turret, pilots should avoid head-on engagements against other aircraft. With its low, stable flight capabilities, the chicane is a powerful escort for convoys and a major threat to ground vehicles of all kinds. Its low heat signature and fuel efficiency offer excellent loiter time and force attackers to engage at closer range. With a large missile magazine, the chicane is a mortal threat to any ground forces that come within range, but can be readily countered by flak batteries or other stationary guns. Care should be taken around hostile facilities and hostile air patrols, especially where engagement with multiple active threats is possible. Taken as a whole, the chicane is best deployed alongside ground forces and with air-focused escorts, like the Compass or Revoker, creating an effective screen against Range AA or other aircraft able to close with the chicane. Hostiles seeking to attack the chicane should always attack from above the rotor line, ideally from behind its wings, where incoming rounds are likely to damage the tail and turbines. That's all I have for today. See you all later.